What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang Zoe YouTube video. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been about a week. Uh, I've been away, I've been traveling, uh, then I've been at war. I've just had some crazy stuff happen at work, a lot of training and stuff like that. And then 2K hasn't really put out anything to really grind crazily for that I wanted to really make a video about. But uh, some information about Season 2, as you can see here beside me, has come out. So uh, I thought I'd do a quick little video. So if you're watching this, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, you know keep up, keep me updated if any, you see anything that I've missed or anything like that. That uh, would be cool to do a video on, or cool to just to do in general. Uh, so first things first, NBA 2K25 Season Two is coming this Friday. So for us here in Australia, it's like two o'clock in the morning on Saturday, two a.m. Uh, but yeah, so you earn these rewards, you level up throughout the season, so you get these. Uh, as you go through, I'm not 100% sure if you get these. Oh no, I think you do get these just for the normal season pass. But then there's extra stuff for the Hall of Fame pass. And you know how they go, how 2K go. Uh, but anyway, level 1, Sapphire, to Ruby, Evo, Jamal Murray. As you can see, season 2, 2K25, uh, featuring Jamal Murray. So yeah, that is an Evo that you can have from Sapphire to Ruby. I would have really liked this one to be maybe Ruby to Amethyst or, or Ruby to Diamond even would have been really cool. But, um, you know, they can't give us too much, I guess. Uh, then, level 20, get the Amethyst Obi Toppin. Level 34, the Deluxe Pack Wheel Spin. Now, I'm kind of keen to see what that is. Uh, what kind of Deluxe Pack you get. Can you, you know, get one of the ones that has only Diamond Cards in it? Because that would be sick. Uh, you know, just, yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see. Then, uh, level 37, Hall of Fame Badge. And level 40, Pink Diamond Tyrese Halliburton. Now, I have not used a Tyrese Halliburton this year, so I'm not 100% sure how he goes. Uh, from all reports that I've seen... Actually, some people say he does really, really well. Other people say that he doesn't do that great. So uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see till we get our hands on him and um, see see how we go. But Pink Diamond, Tyrese Halliburton, he is a 96, I believe. So not a, not a 95. So he's at one level above T-Mac that come out in Season 1. But um, yeah, that's our level rewards. There'll be a bunch of stuff as you go through anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's the first thing that I just wanted to touch on really quickly. Uh, second thing is going to be this here. The ABC domination continues with one of the longest names in NBA uh, history as the prize. So play your way through the alphabet of NBA teams in NBA, uh, in sorry, in my team to earn a diamond. Contavious Caldwell Pope. Once again, have not used any have not used any Contavious Caldwell Popes this year, uh, but people say he's got good defense. People say he can shoot, uh, and so I think he might be decent, especially just for doing domination, and I still believe domination remains the best way to make MT in this game, which is really, really sad. Uh, but yeah, if you're down on MT and you want to make some MT and you just want to get some games done, do some challenges, domination's great for that. So yeah, Diamond Contavious Caldwell Pope could be an uh, interesting addition to anyone's team. Uh, so that's just that little bit about domination. And then the next part that I want to talk about is this one here really caught my eye. Uh, so, rack up the wins in these My Team modes throughout Season 2 to earn some fire rewards. So, first off, Triple Threat Park. Uh, 5 wins gets you an 84 overall premium pack. 10 wins gets you 87 overall premium pack. 25 wins gets 90 overall premium pack. Now, I, I definitely did over 25 wins this year. I mean, uh, sorry, this season and Season 1. Don't know if I got to 50, but if I ha had something like this in my mind, I might have played it more, to be honest. Like, you... Like, some 2K always do bad. They don't give you an incentive to play. This here gives you an incentive to try to grind, try to get up higher, try to get more wins. Uh, but yeah, so 50 wins get you 25,000 MT. 75 wins, an Amethyst Gems of the Game option pack, which is that's pretty cool. Uh, 100 wins, Diamond Hidden Gems pack. So 100 wins, that's not that many. Like, you know, you get go and get a few wins each night, you, you're probably going to get there. Uh, now, if you really want to grind to the 150, 200, and 500 wins, uh, you'll get a Season 2 Hall of Fame badge option pack, which, like, um, I guess that is what it is. I'm not too fussed on the badges. Uh, 200 wins gets you 50,000 MT, and 500 wins gets you Hidden Gem, a Hidden Gems 95 overall award pack and legend badge. Hidden Gems 95 plus overall award pack. Why award pack? I don't know why it says award pack, but it's a, an award pack. I guess maybe it's not an option. You don't get to choose. You just get lucky. Uh, and then uh, you move down, showdown. So if you get 15 wins in showdown, you get an 84 overall premium pack, 87 overall premium pack, 84 overall premium pack, uh, times two, 
84 overall pack times 2 and 5,000 MT. That's pretty decent. I did like maybe, I think, 50 wins this season or close to 50 wins. So, and that wasn't even really trying. If I knew that this was around or if I know that this is around, I'm going to go harder. So then uh, 60, so I guess from 15 to 60, 60 wins gets you a Hidden Gems Amethyst pack, 87 overall premium pack times 2, 84 overall premium pack times 3, a Poultry in Motion Deluxe pack times 5, so 5 of those, uh, Bronze Silver Gold Option pack, uh, pick you get to pick 5 of them. I'm guessing is that uh, Bronze Silver Gold, that'll be your badges, and then 25,000 MT. So for 60 wins, not bad. Now if you're really kicking it up to 120 wins, which... I personally think it's insane, like not really that insane if you're playing this main, t- like mainly, but uh, 120 wins, Hidden Gems Diamond Pack, Season 1 Super Pack, 20 box, uh, Hall of Fame Badge Option Pack, and 50,000 MT, and then once again, kick it up even more, 250 wins, which which is insane, if I even get to 120, I'm going to be crazy, I'm going to be like, be like, whoa, I can't believe I did that, if I can get up to 250 wins, which seems absolutely insane, but that's uh, a 95 plus overall hidden gems pack uh, and a legend badge. Now, obviously, as you do them all, you're going to get all of that stuff. So it's pretty good. This is the type of stuff, maybe not this many wins, but this is the type of stuff that 2K needed to have in Season 1 to get people hyped up and get them moving forward. Because, yeah, you give people something to do, give people something to grind towards, even though this here will take a long time. This type of thing is exactly the type of thing to keep people motivated, keep them playing your game, keep them coming back. You know, like I've got mates that don't play uh, Showdown or don't really like to play Showdown. If they know, oh, if I just get 60 wins, I'm going to get a Hidden Gems Amethyst pack, blah, blah. They might go, okay, I'll try and get there. And then same with the Triple Threat Park. If they know that they're getting a Diamond card uh, for 100 wins when they play extensively, uh, no money spent... And they, you know, only have the pink diamonds from the reward pack or from the uh, season pass, then they're going to do it. Like they're going to get to 100 wins. I think 100 wins is very attainable for everybody. Um, you know, obviously, if you only have like one hour or two hours here and there to play, not really. But if you putting in a little bit of effort on the game, then yeah. Um, but anyway, that's all for today's video. I just wanted to go over a little bit of that stuff, get a video out, get back in the, on the screen here for you guys, and. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Season 2 and what's coming up. And, uh, you know, are you going to grind for any of these rewards? Are you going to do the domination? Are you going to try to get to 100 wins? Are you going to try to get to 500 wins on Park? Uh, are you going to get try and get to 60 wins in, in Showdown? Or are you going to try and go hardcore and get the 250 wins? I know I'm going to try and get the 250 wins because I want a free 95 overall pack. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, what you're going to do. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Next video will be Season 2. So that'll be that'll be interesting and um, hyped up. Oh, real quickly before I go, one more little thing. Uh, this is my team. I'm just going to take myself away here. Uh, this is my team that I'm ending the season on. We do have some other players. This is the team that 2K put out for us. That uh, I just said build the team like you know the best available. This is a team that they've put out, and um, I would make some changes obviously. But yeah, this is my team to end this end season one, and uh, hopefully we can add to the pink diamond tally. Uh, for next season. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.